holy shit, do I wish I had been watching the Academy Awards. Um, I, wow. Uh, <laughs> what a fucking display. I know I'm a millennial. And for some reason, my generation has a weird attachment to Will Smith and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So I am so fucking happy that this... I'm not happy that Chris Rock got hit. I like Chris Rock as a, a, a delight. Uh, he, he brightens up my Christmas every year when I, I go on to Netflix and I watch A Very Murray Christmas. I you love Chris Rock. Um, I'm not glad that he was he was attacked. But I am so glad that I can now openly say that I don't think his music is very good and Fresh Prince sucked. Um, I will give him his due. I liked it. I enjoyed Independence Day. Uh, the first Men in Black was, uh, was, was fun. And I think Ali might have been all right as a movie. I don't really remember. I was younger when I saw it. Otherwise, I have no interest in the rest of his catalog. His, his music is rap music for fucking pussies. It's, it's middle school dance music. It is the, it's the rap album that like a dorky kid's mother would let him buy. Like it's the kind that you did, you know, your mom wasn't looking for the parental uh, advisory sticker as the, uh, the sort of millennial cliche goes. I remember he bragged, he has a line in, um, what is it? Is it getting jiggy with it? Or one of those fucking, so I can't play any of them. The fucking YouTube will bury this episode. If I try to play his fucking music. Um, and it's, you know, I get little enough traction as it is. Uh, but he, there's one he brags about, uh, he, he carries a Cuban cigar for the look. Uh, he just bites it. Yeah. He never lights it or something along those lines. And what a fucking asshole. Like I treat my body like a goddamn temple, but if you present me with a fucking Cohiba and you take out one of those nice, fancy fucking big flame lighters. Of course, of course I'm firing it up. It's a Cuban cigar. It's a treat. Fucking asshole. Uh, anyway, we would be remiss if we did not enjoy the, uh, the vid. And it's so, it's so hard to say enjoy about the video. Cause again, it's like, you don't want, uh, you, you don't want, um, what you, you don't want Chris, Chris Rock to get hit, but also, it is, it is, it is awesome. It is one of the great, just amazing um, pop culture media moments uh, of of all time. This is going to go down um, just in in forever. Like this is a, it's what the fuck. Like I love it. Um, so let's watch it and enjoy it. Of course, the uh, we have the uncensored feed here. I believe y'all got to see it. It's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. So that's... You know, kind of tepid. I'm sorry, I can't do any of this fucking copy. Is this uh, is this copy video address thing showing up on your screen as well? Because that is fucking irritating. Um, and oh, apparently Ali is a, a terrible movie. Thank you, Thomas. Um, good to know. Yeah, I'm sorry. The uh, there's some stupid fucking Twitter uh, thing is like burned into the screen right now. In any case, there's the joke. GI Jane two. Okay. All right. <laughs> Will is giggling. So far, so good. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> that fucking thud when he fucking cracked him in the face. Can I, uh, let's wind back and watch it one more time. I'm here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. 
Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. And what a fuck! What a great response, too. I mean, you know, what do you, you know, what do you do? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get. People are saying that Will Smith humiliated Chris Rock. Um, I don't, I didn't get that. I thought Chris Rock handled it wonderfully. I thought Will Smith humiliated and embarrassed himself. We'll, we'll get to that uh, in in a moment. But I did not. To me, that did not like. I did not. I did not look at Chris Rock and say how embarrassing for him. I was kind of like, "Yo, Chris handled it like a fucking boss." <laughs> you put the- my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. He looks like he's going to cry. That is, people have been calling this, saying, you know, it's oh, it's faked, it's this and that. If if these two wind up in the ring together at WrestleMania and we find out that this was all a, a work by Mr. McMahon, then fine, I'll I'll eat my words on this one. But I don't see this being faked just because of the look on his face. And I really don't think Will Smith is a good enough actor to pull this off in uh, on such a public stage like that. I don't think he's a good enough actor to pull it off uh, in a movie, to, to be honest. To get Academy Award or not, I do not. I'm I'm not on the goddamn Will Smith hype train. I don't think anyone is anymore, to be to be totally honest. Um, anyway, dude, yeah, it was a GI Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay. <laughs> I can, oh, okay. I I also love that little moment from from Chris Rock. He's like, oh, I could, because he know, because everyone knows about Will Smith and his wife. It's out. That's out there. They brought it to the red table that she fucks other dudes, and he has no choice but to be okay with it. Uh, or you know, or the marriage I would assume will uh, will dissolve. And Chris knows that if he wanted to. He could unleash just a barrage of uh, jokes about how Will's bald wife uh, is getting fucked silly by every younger rapper in the country. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, I do not, everyone, you know, people were pouring out their, uh, you know, it was fake theories. It was, seemed way too natural. Um, Chris Rock is a, he's a, a comedian. I know he, he acts or whatever, but he's not a, like a, I don't think a classically trained actor who could execute that. Um, in a fashion that was so, so normal to the way you would kind of react to, to that kind of uh, thing. I thought he just, he did a good job of, of salvaging it. Uh, and what, you, the look on Will Smith's face, if we can go, go back to that again, that is, that is the look of a, a cuckold who is, holding back tears that is a man whose whose wife has has told him here's the deal um i get to sleep around outside this marriage or or we're not going to to have uh this marriage anymore that he is will smith for whatever bluster he's put out there about this kind of new age attitude that he has um, where, you know, they're all, you know, on this journey together or any of that fucking bullshit. He is an against his will cuckold. Um, they're not swinging. Uh, it's not a situation like Jerry Falwell where he jerks off in the corner and maybe he, he, he helps clean up afterwards. This is take it or leave it. Your wife is banging other dudes. She will stay with you. She bangs other dudes, but she'll stay with you. And yes, you can get some ass on the side so you don't feel too bad about yourself. But that doesn't matter, even if you are getting a little ass on the side, because your wife, the woman that you love, 
clearly initiated this situation where she gets to go fuck other guys and you get this kind of little consolation prize where it's like, all right, you know, you get to, you get to break some chick off. But you know, if you're, if you're a celebrity, you, you, you probably get so much fucking pussy thrown at you that to have the woman you love, the one piece you want all to yourself, uh, banging other dudes and having them write songs about it. Um, uh, it just, you know, you know, fuck all of the uh, the UC Santa Cruz co-eds you want. And, you know, to you and me, that sounds like it would never get old. But to Will Smith, there is, I think, a point of diminishing uh, returns there. Uh, I think I've mentioned, I think, ad nauseum on this show. I was once unwittingly used as the bull um, in an Indian couple's uh, cuckold fantasy. I, when I was stationed down in Quantico, this I... Uh, I left the club with this this chick, and we went back to uh, her hotel room. And I went. I go to take a piss in the bathroom, and I come out, and the lights are off, and she's already taking her clothes off, and just leads me to uh, a bed on the far side of the room. And then after uh, after I finished uh, fucking her, um, I think I actually, I think I fucking, I might have dumped one in her. Uh, <laughs> a little a little half Indian, half Italian running around out there. He's about. Uh, 15, 14, 15 years old right now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I go in cause I'd fucking, I'd, uh, raw dogged her for a while. Cause I've been drinking all night. It's, you know, it's hard to hold a rod with a fucking condom on at 3 AM. And, uh, I went to the bathroom to wash my dick and I come out and the, uh, the lights are on and there's just some fully dressed dude in a fucking Argyle sweater laying on the other the other bed like above the covers and she's like oh yeah that's my friend ravi uh he really wants to fuck me but i won't let him uh <laughs> at which point i was like all right well it's time for me to get the fuck out of here before ravi wakes up and she's like oh you don't want to stick around like no ravi's here i had no idea i was like 22 at the time i had no idea what a fucking a cuckold uh fetish was so i had no idea that what had probably happened was that like she goes out picks up a guy uh, she fucks while Ravi is there pretending to be asleep, and then maybe they convince the guy to let Ravi, you know, fucking clean him off. Um, but uh, no, I did not. I did not stick around for uh, any assistance from uh, from Ravi. Uh, the chick was pretty cute. She was a little uh, a little spinner. Good, good time. But man, that Will Smith is laughing when the joke gets told, and the look she gives him is it's just she owns his nutsack uh it almost it feels like she has probably been dragged off of the dance floor at a uh at a fucking wedding or was it a christening um drunk shouting never marry a wop i mean it really had strong fredo vibes will smith really does there is a uh a Fredo Corleone-ness uh, on, on the dance floor with his drunk wife to him. Um, yeah. I'm going to, one more, one more uh, look before, uh, before we uh, continue on with this uh, story. Let the entire saga play out. Look at Chris. He's having fun. He's, he's, he's telling jokes, the Oscars. <laughs> All right. Will Smith wins, like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? He laughs. <laughs> she does not. <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa! It every time I see it, the literally the first time I saw this scene was when I was walking through the Port Authority. There was a, a stack of uh, copies of the New York Post at a newsstand, and that was like what was on the front cover. Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> the, my name out your fucking mouth. 
And we will leave it. We're still going to talk about this for a little while, but we'll leave it on cry, the crying cuckold face. This should replace crying Jordan, I think. This Will Smith face here as the, the new crying meme. It's the face you make when your wife has been quite public about the fact that she fucks other men and you get uh, mad because she gives you an, uh, an angry look. But uh, apparently they refused to, they were asked to leave. And they refused. Uh, this is from BBC. Um, so <laughs> Jade has seen a few of those, huh? Will Smith was asked to leave the Oscars ceremony after hitting Chris Rock, but refused, the Academy says. The event organizing body also said it had initiated disciplinary proceedings against Smith. How do they not have, like, just fucking goons on site? Like, that place has to be teeming with fucking security, right? Because otherwise, you know, are we still are we still worried about ISIS or who is it now? Fucking Antifa, the Proud Boys or whoever, or a, a mass, you know, gunman. Anyone could walk in there and do horrible, horrible things uh, to this room full of wealthy child molesters. Uh, you would think they'd have a few uh, goons around to just drag them out during the commercial break. I mean, seriously, what a fucking... Um, He's such a douche. I mean, I'm so, like I said, like, I'm not glad that Chris Rock got hit, but his whole fucking, I was never a big Will Smith guy. And I had to hear people uh, just of my generation, the way that they would suck off the fresh fucking Prince of Bel Air. Um, yeah, it's nice. Uh, but the hot takes have been pouring in left and right uh, on this one. Perfect for a Friday show. Because uh, that allowed me to observe uh, both the event and the response, which I always love. I love oftentimes the response uh, better than the uh, the event. A lot of people have been saying that they think Will Smith was right to do. I found that very surprising that he had a considerable uh, amount of defenders out there essentially saying that he was like defending his wife's honor, right? There are people out there and I run like the, the military's cut, like that you get a lot of them in, in that kind of world where it's a very like, you know, you shouldn't have talked shit. I feel like uh, the, the military and more, um, I don't know how to describe the other group, but like, like phony fucking like fake tough guys. I feel like, the guy, the guys who use the word "yo" a lot in casual uh, conversation, like white guys who talk with a like a black scent, like that that crowd is very very big on the uh, defending someone's honor. He was defending his wife's honor. Um, I feel like if you're moved to violence by somebody's words, then you're the one who's kind of a bitch. Um, cause you've basically let another man verbally manipulate you to the point where they're controlling your physical actions. Uh, so to me, that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of a pussy move. Like there are those guys like, how are you going to, yo, you can't let him say that. It's like, yeah, you can, you can, you can allow someone to say something and you can respond in a manner that says your words are so meaningless to me that I'm not even going to give you the dignity of uh, an energetic response of any kind. Um, and it's it, what's funny to me is that like those, those kind of guys who think that the proper way to respond to words that uh, upset you uh, is with physical violence, uh, they're the ones who walk around referring to themselves as alpha. Like, um, <laughs> what's his name uh, from the... Uh, the Real Housewives, the uh, the beach the beach video where they're he's running around like half naked with a bunch of guys who look like Joe Rogan, and he's at like a, a an alpha male convention on the beach. Like those are the kind of guys who who think that it you know you have to uh, you have to assault someone because they said something that uh, that you don't like. Um, and by the way, his. His wife was not dishonored. Uh, she's wealthy beyond her wildest dreams. She's married to now an Oscar winner, uh, was sitting front row at the Academy Awards. 
she dictates the terms of their household to the point where not only is she fucking other guys, but she has decided that they will openly discuss it and stream those discussions live on Facebook. I mean, I don't know if you could find a greater position of power for a woman. Uh, Literally, we would have to find out that she was pegging him for her to get any more powerful. So the G.I. Jane joke was not a violation of this woman's honor, uh, and hitting, uh, hitting Chris Rock does not make Will Smith some kind of like wife defending alpha male. It's like the literally, if you if you are the type to use the term alpha uh, for such behavior, it's actually the least alpha shit you could possibly do. Um, with all of this makes this fucking article from uh, Pop Sugar, which was trending on Twitter, all the more uh, hilarious. The headline, Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia is not a joke for your Oscars entertainment. And let me, uh, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the the video uh, out of here for a sec. One, uh, just, just a moment. Because I have another, I do have, we should have a reference point for what we're talking about here is um i think this is her no 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 here she is okay just a little she reminds me of the unsullied from game of thrones like she's got that kind of i feel like buzz shape up thing going there although they were eunuchs and apparently uh jada pinkett smith loves to fuck uh, but again, I want to remind you that this, uh, it's pop sugar, which it's not like, you know, if you're watching this, you're probably not a big pop sugar reader, but this isn't like some blog that I pulled, you know, out of my ass from some random corner of the internet. This was trending on Twitter, like the day after the slap, when people were saying, you know, rightfully saying it was just a joke and not a particular, it wasn't a particularly cutting joke either. Uh, being being compared to Demi Moore in her prime, um, you know, hair or not, I would fuck the tits off of Demi Moore. Uh, still, by the way, uh, age is just a number uh, when it comes to Demi Moore. Uh, but here's what, what Pop Sugar had to say. Now, this is not a story about the incident. This is about the joke that caused it, made not only at Pinkett Smith's expense, but also at the expense of women everywhere who are also facing some form of hair loss. Pinkett Smith has previously been very open about her experience with alopecia. Uh, She's also been very open with the fact that she likes to fuck dudes who are not Will Smith, an autoimmune disorder that can cause balding and a large part of why the actor cut her hair in the first place. Of course, they call her an actor and not an actress because the year year that we're living in is a a very, very stupid time. And by the way, these same fucking assholes who are saying that you can't make fun of uh, alopecia uh, on a public figure after her husband uh, physically assaulted someone because she gave him a glare that said, you better go up and physically assault him. Um, This is the exact same crowd that spent the better part of five years shrieking about uh, Donald Trump's hands, his skin, his hair, his weight, and his penis. So... And this, aside from whether you're a fucking uh, a Trump guy or not, that we can agree that that's that's the group that is expressing this this opinion about the alopecia now. Um, so shut the fuck up. Uh, continuing with the article here, while people remain divided on whether Smith's reaction was warranted, there is another layer to this incident that isn't getting the attention it deserves. Hair in the black community is revered. Rock himself has made a documentary about black hair culture after being asked by his daughter why she does not have good hair. Uh, Countless articles have been written on black hair culture in the U.S. The importance of hair in the black community, particularly for black women, is an undeniable, well-documented fact. Let me tell you something. As, uh, As a guy who has less and less fucking hair every day, 
let's not pretend that hair is a race-based issue, all right? I would love to have just thick, flowing locks of hair. My son of a bitch brother has gorgeous thick hair. His physique is nowhere near mine, but he does have great hair. Um, guess what? I don't. So I cut my hair short. I have a very nice collection of, uh, of hats for, for most occasions, except for the most formal on which I style, I, you know, I get a nice cropped haircut and style it well. Uh, and eventually I will have to go the Joe Rogan route and, and hack it all off. Right. Probably within the, the next few years here. That's life. That's, that's how it goes. That is human biology. All right. Deal with it, bitch. You got millions of dollars and you're fucking everybody on the planet. Have fun. Don't worry about the fucking hair. Get a wig. Um, on one hand, uh, the article continues, black women are criticized regardless of the way they wear their hair, whether it be natural, in braids, weaved, or permed. On the other, most have the option to choose how they want to wear their hair. That's not the case here. Pinkett Smith did not have to choose alop did not choose to have alopecia. In fact, the condition impacts approximately 6.8 million people in the U.S. alone, according to the National Alopecia Arietta Foundation. Oh, they must be a blast at cocktail parties. She has stated clearly and publicly that she has been trying to accept her condition after years of trying to hide it, at times being brought to tears when discussing her journey. Uh, okay, it's hair loss. Again, not a journey. Get a wig. Uh, my right eye barely opens. Uh, in addition to shaving my head, sooner or later, I am probably going to have to have a doctor cut my face open so they can tighten up the muscle and fix it, and I can go back to uh, to seeing normally. Do you hear me bitching about my journey? No, not as such. Uh, I actively mock the situation because I realize that it looks ridiculous and is, in fact, mockable. Um, I have leaned into it, uh, as much, I think, as one possibly could, and I think Jada should have just been a fucking good sport, uh, about that little, uh, little G.I. Jane crack, uh, Rock's implication that he can't wait to see her in G.I. Jane 2 was insensitive. It attempted to continue a long-standing tradition where black women are often the ones on the receiving end of quips about their appearances and are still expected to roll with the punches and laugh it off. But black women and their appearances are much more than comedic fodder to be dished out to a whitewashed audience, especially at the hands of black men. Uh, again, the lunatic that wrote this article has whitewashed the fact that Jada Pinkett Smith is a very wealth, wealthy, powerful woman. Uh, I, would, I would love to take a little straw poll of the general public and find out how many chicks uh, would trade their station in life for hers and shut the fuck up about the alopecia and just throw on a wig, okay? Uh, how many women uh, with no hair because of breast cancer um, would would like to trade and say, you know what, it's just alopecia? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. And by the way, the way this wacko uh, who wrote this dressed up the uh, the situation with the phrasing black women and their appearance are much more than comedic fodder to be dished out to a whitewashed audience especially at the ha at the hands of black men this does not bolster your argument um it hurts your argument because you're willfully ignoring the fact that the the oscars uh, is an event where, first of all, everyone there is powerful. So any of this privilege bullshit goes out the fucking window. Uh, but the Oscars is an event where Hollywood personalities are made fun of by comedians. That is literally a an essential element of the show. In fact, it's practically the only reason that a lot of people even watch the event. Because not less and less of the country... Uh, cares about or is interested uh in in what's going on with this cabal of of child molesters from los angeles um now i i also think that there's a degree to which comedians need to stop acting like little bitches about this situation as well uh i'm not going to to name any names but i spend uh in addition to 
scrolling Twitter and looking at hardcore pornography, uh, I follow a lot of, um, you know, comedians on Instagram and, uh, and Twitter as well. And a lot of them have been engaging in a little too much of the kind of whiny outrage that we see whenever uh, some aggrieved group in this country complains about uh, about anything, uh, to be totally honest. And I understand where that outrage uh, comes from, especially because uh, there's a big uh, like part of this whole thing is that if if you haven't seen, there's this other video going around from the uh, from the after party. We'll get uh, we'll get the unsullied out of here, and let's see if I can uh, I can uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. fuck. Uh, where's she at? Here we go. Uh, there's this other video going around of Will Smith having an awesome time uh the uh the crying cuckold is gone <laughs> not by the way nothing would make me fucking cringe more than watching uh will smith rap along to one of his own songs on the dance floor and and a circle of people fucking recording it like this is this is every wedding you've ever been at when you know the the drunk bros the 20 year olds are out there fucking doing their you know dance moves and and shit and breaking it down and and you know they're you know being you know 20 some odd year old douchebags you know I've, I've done the same uh except this is uh it's will smith singing one of his shitty songs after assaulting Chris Rock at uh, the Academy Awards. Oh, I even, I hate his fucking, his little fucking dance moves too. This is, I am so glad the Will Smith party is over. Well, this, this Will Smith party uh, seemed to go, uh, go on late into the night, but I am really, I am, I am enjoying the fact that uh, he shot himself in the foot because now I can talk about how much I uh, I think his uh, his his work sucks. Like he really just does. He looks like every douchebag at a frat formal. Like he should just I like. Um, is there a there's a van outside and he's got a duffel bag in there with a teak uh, a. a fucking tke hooded sweatshirt in there for the for the overnight after they're going to his, his bro's lake house with their dates And they're all, you know, you hear them, they're whistling and cheering for him, uh, having a good time, having a great time. Because here's the thing. Uh, despite the fact that th these people have been telling us uh, for years now that words are violence. Um, so it would only make sense that they would look the other way when someone responds to words with actual violence. Um, and of course, these are also the same people, the same room, uh, who looked the other way for decades while old men molested naive young people who were trying to get a, a start in the, uh, the, the film industry. So yeah, based on the metrics applied to, to this group of people out in, in Hollywood and at the Academy Awards, uh, no, a slap is not a big deal. And Will Smith deserves uh, a, a ovation and trophies and uh, and and dancing and 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 all that all that shit. Um, so yeah, I um, I I don't think that he should lose the the award. If you win the award, you win the award. That's uh, stripping him doesn't do anything. He was awarded. You already said you won. Like that doesn't doesn't do a fucking thing. Um, and he's got the money to have a, you know, a facsimile made, I'm sure. So it would just, it would be meaningless. Um, and I don't, 
I don't disagree that comics should be mad. Um, I just think that when I see them write, like making fucking text posts on like Instagram and shit about how like, you know, it could happen to any of us. Like some, yeah, we get it. We get it. Just make a fucking joke though. Like be, do the thing that we appreciate you for. Don't, don't become one of these, like one of the reasons we don't like Hollywood, why we think they're all a bunch of smug shitheads is because, uh, they, they constantly kind of break that fourth wall and try to tell us how to live and how to behave and everything. Just make fun of the situation. If you want to talk about how it's fucked up that someone could come hit you while you're on stage, that's fine, but do it in a funny way. You don't, we don't need you turning into a fucking drama queen uh, and sitting in your, we don't need you to be sitting in your seat quivering and crying cuckold Will Smith. Um, we want you to bring the, uh, bring the laughs. Anyway, enough of Will Smith. Fuck him. He's out of here. He's done. 